Okay, so thank you for this moment. I have given up myself an opening slide. I refer to myself often as a performance architect. I'm dressed in my PhD robe, performing my day in the way I felt necessary to embody that the theatricality effectively of, of, of this cap and gown that we wear. Um, so I'm from the UK as you can hear and I've been in the States for maybe 13 years now. I recently became a US citizen which was a whole ritual in and of itself and again I ritualized that day in a very particular way. What did it mean for me to become a, a citizen of the United States? Um, and what does that allegiance mean uh, and where is that centered? So a very big part of my uh, thinking brain is connected to this group uh, and there are several of us in came invited by Oshubi and the University of Florida to be part of this initiative and it's been an amazing uh, think tank action space during this pandemic and we are an interdisciplinary group and i put this at the front end because it really is a, a life force this group uh, and and it's a beautiful community that we have we've been nurturing between us these past years and indeed we have been supported also by the university of florida so this comes really to the fore this week because just yesterday we were part of a a very important forum that uh, one of our members, Jose Cosa, has developed at the Penn, Penn State University. He has a, a think tank space which is focused on his, his paradigm of Cosmo Ubuntu. Um, so this is some of us um, and we are a group of about 55 people and counting. Um, and we're centered on technology across the diaspora on the continent and we're really trying to maintain a, uh, a conversation that really places us in different with different senses of what what is most important what is most important for someone in tanzania versus orange county right so having that zoomed out um a view of things is something that really makes a lot of sense for me in, in this lifetime. Um, that's a, a overhanging slide from yesterday. Alas, a wonderful mentor, <laughs> Gugi Wationgo, is also connected to this group. Um, so that literally was yesterday and we, we conjured a lot of really important energies and conversations with folks that have, have focused on education at all different levels. So as a result of yesterday and another conference that I was at at my institution, UC Irvine, where I'm a professor of dance, um, and, <clears throat> and this was with um, professors in social ecology and professor in history. They brought two very powerful artists from Nigeria and the Congo, both in the States at this time. So they work across different countries to present their work and what they're doing. And it was devastating to say just a singular word. So I'm just going to read what I shared, what I, what, what I downloaded in my brain today. I'm thinking about applying for a grant. And if any time you need to stop me, Osubi, please go ahead. I wrote, if we walk together, we will reach far. If I walk alone, I will go quickly. That, these are not my words. This is from a, a proverb, which you may have heard. The noise surrounding is a resounding chorus of action in regard to climate change. It comes into its own with the intensity of the alone together reality of our digital exchange. How to cut through the noise. The planet is a living entity. It has rights, even if we don't afford them. We are part of a planetary ecosystem. 
Does the planet need us? What are we giving back? Speaking of Seda, yesterday, what can we give back? We are heating up. We are not allowing her to breathe. We are suffocating her with toxic waste that she repels back to us in the form of heat. It's planetary inflammation. It's the result of centuries of doctrine and philosophy that has produced theories which have shaped methodologies to evolve our societies. How can we have, or can we have precision me medicine without slaying, displacing, and violating the people of the Congo. I'll stop there just because it's three pages. But there, this is some of my downloading this morning. And the other major part of my life, which I really should have started with, Kishore's probably thinking, huh? Kishore is also a member of AI for Africa, and she has been a really dedicated mentor for me in the last six, eight months as I'm working on my real baby, which is embodyology. I have no children, embodyology is my child. Um, and it comes out of research in endogenous societies in West Africa. And it's a, it's a practice. It's also an, an analytical tool for understanding human communications and moving us towards a different way of relating. Last year, I began a summer program in Florida, and next uh, part of that is going to continue <clears throat> this year at the University of North Colorado. Um, I'm also starting a program for my institution, a, a 10 week program with the Samueli Institute for Integrative Health. And this is all virtual the Vitality Motion, my summer program is in person and really engaging with people who have bodies that move. That's really the criteria for participation. But the outcomes are mercurial. So embodyology comes from work with indigenous peoples, referring to endogenous knowledge that comes from local knowledge. And my effort is to give back, not simply to go about enriching myself, but to give back to the community. Um, this event this week has sort of catapulted me back to earlier work about the Congo. I made a piece in 2011, which used cell phone technology to create an interactive performance. And, and, and I began this work in the UK in 2003 when I received a, 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 an award to begin my, what was the beginning of my research into technology. And, um, and, and so this week has really sort of urged me to think about this work again. And I'm applying for a Creative Capital Award. I don't know if anybody else is. Uh, or Thanks. should be. Um, so I'm thinking about this work uh, for that grant. Um, I have a nonprofit somewhere, <laughs> the other limb. Um, it's its 30th anniversary this year. I've not done anything to mark that, but at least I'm showing you the picture. So there we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that that's it. That's it for me for today. Okay. That Ama, as always, uh, amazing work and always amazing information. Um, really, really exciting uh, to, to get a little glimpse and snapshot. Um, I, I probably have studied and, and followed up on your information at a very high level based on our interactions over the last couple of years. So we're really uh, thankful for you to be able to share um, with our group today uh, so that they understand who they're in the room with. Um, before I transition to anything else, we want to open the floor for any questions anyone has specifically before I ask my questions, but any questions anyone has, uh, feel free to throw them in the chat and or bring your voice into the room. Everyone. I wonder about this uh, Cosmo Ubuntu Praxis. Is there anything you could recommend to read from uh, Jose Cosa on that? Yes, I will. I'll put a link in 
to a Google Drive folder that's got several of his essays in there already. Awesome. So I Thank can you. direct you right to it, Sarah. Sure. Thanks. And it really is the community that we have generated is an outpouring of that philosophy. Um, as to his embodyology, it really is about connections between the we and there's absolute space for individuality, but the, the home base is the we. Yeah, I loved what you had to say about that. Thank you. Um, I want to um, kind of pull to the forefront um, for a while. Uh, many of you all have heard me speak about our workings and interactions with AI for Africa. And in many ways, I, um, I credit conversations that <laughs> Um, and I had what our first conversation was about three hours on the phone, just first interaction where we took the whole journey around different things that were going on. Um, and, and what was really interesting about that was um, at that point we were preparing uh, to gather uh, um, in Geneva uh, at the AI for Good conference that was going to be happening. And so there was a lot of also build up and excitement and then COVID happened and everything was disrupted. But in that, um, in certain ways, a new way of interacting and being was kind of born from that. And I, I give, when I think about how we've been able to convene people and have some of these conversations, uh, a lot of growth and learning from that has come specifically from me, from Ama and, and then Caduce in watching them not be at all deterred by the fact that the world shifted and they still needed to bring community and build community uh, through this through this mechanism of the Zoom box. And um, I want to definitely say publicly, um, I appreciate uh, the journey that we have been on and are really excited to begin to put some things in place for another one of those uh, seminal gatherings that I hope that we can pull off in August. I'm waiting for some information back from um, studies can go ahead and get the clearance to move past this fiscal year because I know for us everybody is stretched to the to the breaking point in this particular springtime. Um, Want to keep the floor open for a second before I move to something else outside of saying uh, an explicit thank you to Ama. Does anyone else have any questions or comments or feedback? I see Heidi says bring embodyology here to UF. Maybe next summer, I don't know, because I think uh, you guys are full this year because we did try to see if there was a you know space for us to do a summer program in Florida with you, but maybe next year, 2023. Heidi, I, I have a plan. It's just we're, we're okay. playing, but I have a plan. <laughs> okay. okay, could I, could I just, just to clarify? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Ama, did you say you were at currently at University of California Irvine? Or are you are you here? No, I'm in you, California UC Irvine. Yes, yes. I mean, that's where you are that's working. Where, that's where I'm based. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, and maybe thank you for the over, wonderful presentation. Maybe over in, in Florida in November for um, an embodyology leadership program. So I'm working with a business. A leader on developing a, a inter interactions between business leaders and and body. Okay. Yes. Thank you.